Hello Internet, it's I the Roshi, and I'm back with another reaction, this time reacting to Sethos! I hope I'm saying that right. Sethos has a character demo and a collected miscellany, and I'm gonna react to both of them in this video and share my thoughts. Let's get into it. You got questions? You've come to the right person. On the off chance I don't have the answers, I can ask around and help you find out. Sethos? Pretty interesting guy. He's like a distant cousin of Sinos. Hmm. The first time we met, he came up and asked me if I was hat guy. Hmm. He nods his head when he talks. It's like, oh, I don't know, like a little puppy, yes? Doesn't play enough TCG. <laughs> Some elders say I'm difficult to control, like a wild animal. But don't you think it's kind of an issue that they want to control how other people think in the first place? Ooh, this music. Sometimes an over-reliance on ancient wisdom can make you forget the strength that you and your companions already have. Move or be moved! Behind you! <laughs> Don't mention it. I'll protect you. Or you can protect me. <laughs> Whatever works. Okay, so I really do like this demo. I enjoyed what I learned about him here. He seems very helpful. He's very much go with the flow. He's not a nerd like Sino who plays a children's card game. And that's hilarious. So he has a connection to Sino in some way. They're in the same line of work-ish, has a sense of humor, works hard, and is loyal. So I thought this was great. Also, I like his design as well. He's got the yellows and purples. Uh, which work out very nice. His hair is very cool. Okay, moving on. Every time I visit the desert of Sumeru, it strikes me as a mysterious place. For starters, who is best equipped to deal with desert life? The Aramites based there, or the Academia scholars sent to study King Deshret's civilization? I'd say there's a third answer. Bags packed and ready to roll. Sethos was raised in the desert and is privy to many secrets passed down from the age of King Deshret. This is coveted knowledge, but Sethos's electro-powered arrows keep prying eyes well away. As an exceptional outdoorsman, you can count on Sethos's adventuring skills. When Sethos is in your party, the location of resources unique to Sumeru will appear on your minimap, making it easier to gather supplies. Okay. Sethos's normal attack can combo up to three consecutive shots, dealing physical damage. With a charged attack, Sethos executes a more precise aimed shot that deals increased damage. The shot has different effects depending on how long the charging lasts. Hmm. At charge level one, Sethos fires an electro-infused arrow that deals electro-damage. At charge level 2, Sethos fires a shadow-piercing shot that can pass through opponents, dealing electro-damage to all enemies in its path. Sethos will not be able to move around when shadow-piercing shot is fully charged. After wow. unlocking the talent Black Kite's Enigma, the charging time of Sethos's aimed shot will be reduced for each point of elemental energy he has, up to a certain limit. If he fires a shadow piercing shot, he will consume the corresponding quantity of elemental energy. If he fires an arrow at charge level one, only half as much will be consumed. With his elemental skill, Sethos fires concentrated lightning to deal AOE electro damage, then dashes backward. He recovers a set amount of energy if this attack triggers an electro charged, superconduct, overloaded, Quicken, Aggravate, Hyperbloom, or Electro Swirl Reaction. By the Sage's Wisdom! With his elemental burst, Sethos uses a secret rite to enter the Twilight Meditation State, which mm. transforms his normal attacks into Dusk Bolts. Dusk Bolts can pass through enemies and deal Electro damage to all enemies in their path. Damage dealt is increased based on Sethos's elemental mastery. 
Sethos cannot use aimed shots while in this state. Dust Bolt damage is considered charged attack damage. The state ends when its duration expires or Sethos leaves the field. Much of King Deshret's wisdom is buried in a sea of sand, waiting to be seized by future sages. After unlocking the talent The Sand King's Boon, Sethos gains the Scorching Sandshade effect, which increases damage dealt by shadow piercing shots by an amount based on his elemental mastery. The Scorching Sandshade effect is cleared a certain amount of time after the first shadow piercing shot strikes an enemy, or after a certain number of shadow piercing shots have hit enemies. The effect is regained after a certain amount of time has passed since the first shadow piercing shot with Scorching Sandshade has hit an enemy. Desert life is harsh, but with the power of the Sage of Sages, Sethos makes it look like a walk on the beach. Sethos starts off the battle by using his elemental skill to deal electro damage and gain elemental energy. Once he's accumulated some energy, he uses it to reduce the charging time for his shadow piercing shots and unleash a damaging barrage of piercing arrows. When energy is full, Sethos enters the Twilight Meditation State with his Elemental Burst and fires Dusk Bolts to pierce through Troublemakers, dealing Electro Damage and sending would-be intruders packing. From what I understand, al Ahmar had six loyal followers, but in his own mind, he had seven. Apep certainly did not approve of being numbered among them, but as to what the other six thought, We'll never know. Hmm. I'm sure Sethos would have an interesting take on this if he knew about it. Or perhaps the Temple of Silence does know something, but they're not in a position to speak of it. It's a good thing Sethos is good at keeping secrets. Whoever's will he inherits, he sees it not as a burden, but as a force driving him ever onwards. Ooh. Okay, so Sethos collected miscellany. Couple things I want to say here. One is that real quick, the playstyle seems fun. Um, I like how, once again, it seems a little bit of a mishmash between other bow users that I've seen. I like how he has his little dash to get away while shocking people. Um, like all bow characters, when they shoot, they kind of back up. That's also good. I like how he kind of has a special that turns into a rapid shot and that multiple forms of, uh, of, the, of his charge shot and how that can even increase in speed depending on meters being filled to an extent and all that. It, it, he seems fun. He seems like a quick bow user. I'm getting Yoimiya vibes a little bit. The last thing, I don't know if I can pick too much of it apart right now because I'm not in Sumeru, nor am I close to it. All I know is that Dainsleaf alluded to, I wonder what this character thinks about these secrets. And then says, you know what? He probably already knows the secrets. And he's keeping that fact a secret because secrets. And <laughs> and I like that. Now, now there's a whole nother level to this character if that is true. Not only is he the things that I mentioned from the demo, but he's also carrying all sorts of knowledge. And not just like, just wisdom and knowledge of just general things, but very secret knowledge. And now that's a deeper level of understanding this character and what they're doing. And they appear one way, but they're really on a mission doing something else and they have this goal or this knowledge that they are protecting um, that is very important to them, their world, etc. So Sethos could potentially be a pretty deep character and I like that. All right, well, that was Sethos. Sethos looks really cool. Like I said, learned a lot about him or so I think I did. He also had some incredible music. 
Anyway, let me know what you think in the comment section down below. Is Sethos a character that you would want? Do you already have Sethos? Explain why, what's going on. If you like this video, make sure you let me know by finding ways to support me, such as subscribing, checking out the description for additional ways to do so by becoming a member on my Patreon or my YouTube channel. Right here, you get benefits such as uncut Genshin Impact playthrough videos and, and also Honkai Star Rail stuff as well. There's a Discord too. It's a good time. Anyway, that's all the time that I have. Thank you so much for being here. I appreciate it as always. And until next time, shine on you crazy diamonds. Later.